They did this shit inside of the house because they were afraid that somebody's going to video record them outside. Just think about outside, there is a lot of potential for someone to catch you, to video record you don't even know about. But inside the house, no, that's where you have a control. Pointed revolvers in me, that threatened me. They did some crazy shit, yes they did. Suggested that holes like this one here exist because they are exercising uh, getting ready to abduct me. Yeah, this of course, this is a deer animals that go to the water. But the idiots eventually believe that I'm going to bite that bait and be afraid, be scared, panicked. There's a tree house over there. For the tree houses, all the tree houses they came up with scenarios that there's going to be always a Mossad sniper is going to be. In reality, it was Serbs, local Serbs that were involved with the Moscow more than anybody else cooked this shit. Slobodan Jovic is a local, even journalist who was involved in it. So in the last stage, what they wanted to do is, what they wanted to do in the last stage was, they wanted to camouflage at all costs, you know, Belgrade, but they knew they're not going to be capable to. They knew I will penetrate because under MK Ultra, I did not show any kind of paranoia, fear, schizophrenia, anything like this. So they eventually knew I'm going to break through this and the truth will become clear. Look, there is a river. How clean? I mean clean. It's a little foggy, but it's a beautiful, beautiful river. That's what I grew up. No paranoia, no fear here. I go at night in the forest and I always did since boy I was nobody scared anybody with their stupidities they screwed themselves foremost so you know when it comes to the politicians like this uh, you're talking about existence of <laughs> not that little pharmaceutical company right there what do they have maybe 5,000 people you're talking about the countries you're talking about corporations that have hundreds and thousands of people each employed you're talking about hundreds of millions of people and you think for the safety uh, for the sake of the people like this uh, they would not go and just dig here 50 centimeter uh, maybe even a meter deep uh, like a cut through which they would pull wires through and install every here and there cameras. <laughs> this is the stuff they have talked about a lot. Yeah, and I have seen it with my own eyes. And it's why I know that the stuff I'm talking about right now is just nothing else than a fact. Okay, uh, Vesna Schwab. Uh, bullet psychiatrist that's not sharp bullet on issues like that uh, we're gonna be doing the stuff like this to you and uh, you're gonna come and stalk us and stuff like this you're gonna look for our residents and things like that bullet on stuff like this this people have made this city wealthy there are there's like a very complex uh, surveillance system throughout the entire city folks they have installed who knows how many cameras for the protection of these politicians I am not kidding this is real uh, very convenient not too big city I'm thinking about really really convenient for somebody like this because it's not too damn big about 20 25,000 people here and you pretty much control you have a control over the entire city even the local uh, forest recreational areas uh, police I know so much stuff uh, there is stuff I don't I'm I'm not even supposed to say because I'm gonna place in trouble some people I don't want to place in trouble Vesna Schwab likes to um, make herself prominent you know in reality it's a zero point nothing but she loves to get attention and wants to be seen in a society as a you know someone that counts 
earlier I have mentioned about how they gave compliment the state officials that were here uh, how everything is so nice so beautiful here nature and they talk and discuss and this and that and basically she gave the credit even for what Americans have teach them about how to keep things you know interesting for the people for the tourists now Americans did go a little too far with it they did stick nose into the people's businesses they shouldn't but it's something new when I worked on a meridian on the ship uh, in a dining room they would do the same shit instead of minding their own business and eat food five-star food the best service you possibly can get they were more occupied preoccupied and interested in their fellow guests who sits next to them how who holds spoon uh, and uh, how the waiters are uh, if we always have a smile on our faces and stuff like that it's just really really funny people and they have this custom they have these habits to bring this shit with them uh, to other environments too which is uh, maybe in a way it's beneficial but everything that is eccentric meaning that everything that is too much in my opinion is no good don't you think so okay we're heading toward the torches this is the direction that we are taking and our location right now at this point would be exactly I'd say it, for me to be exact like this this is where you're gonna stop me this is when I'm gonna start to talk to you right now like this I did not explain earlier about this women about the Scandinavian German this beautiful women and this beautiful niece from Netanyahu Israeli girl that I like very much ha, they were very angry with me they they pushed forward uh, girls from Serbia that uh, they simply they would not appeal to me my uh, was it a first really girlfriend yeah in Slovenia that that I kissed really she was a Serbian but uh, of all these women that these people had uh, they, they did not appeal to me and because they did not appeal to me I was a racist I was a fascist I was a neo-nazi I was just not a human if you're not gonna go for the Serbian woman uh, or a Russian woman it was uh, you're just uh, you will not leave I mean what is this then what is this if this is not ethnic cleansing a genocide I mean, who here is a fascist? Who is a Nazist here? How can you go and tell the person what his preferences in respect to the females are going to be? In the end, they started to condition and harass also this niece of the Netanyahu. They started to condition her as well. And they came with all kinds of scenarios and they started to... Uh, I just hope she actually is going to file the complaint against them. Putin went as far as conditioning her Russian citizenship which he gave her when she was like very young she loves Russia so much she loves Slovenia she loves this she's a girl a very normal beautiful girl that loves people here and there and everywhere and just want to be a friend with everybody and this idiot uh, started to condition her uh, even a citizenship in case I would dare uh, to disclose the truth about the Moscow's involvement in my case I mean, this is completely totally out of order totally insane uh, regarding my neighbor Franci there were two of them one was Franci Doge that one suffered a horrific death I saw it with my own eyes no way that guy could possibly be alive but then there is another one Frank also Franci Mohar under MK Ultra, I was told that, you know, when I talk about the afterlife, I was told that the neighbor asked Borat Pahar to give this individual, this Frank, who retired, a post life, afterlife, basically because he was womanizing other women. Uh, and she didn't want him anymore. And he got, he got to know another woman someplace 
and instead of making a divorce and stuff like this uh, that would be that she would not feel right that she would be ashamed and this and that so what they did was that's basically what I was told uh, they got him uh, another you know post life if you want um, I do not actually believe that happened I believe that he really did got the cancer that he really did died because that's what they claimed uh, but they did gesture me under MK Ultra in this very forest that when I'm gonna go for a walk he's gonna actually pass by salute me uh, and that I should video record him and put him online and stuff like this that he is alive uh, under MK Ultra, they did brought me to the location to that Smolenia Gora where those weekends are uh, and it was one of those weekends one of those little houses they blasted music they had party they enjoyed and they asked me when am I gonna join that people when I'm gonna enjoy them that that people enjoying they're having a good time that's called afterlife basically when they issue a new ID uh, under different name and you're like you're not but you in the reality you are they have not done this scenario uh once twice frank might have a doppelganger everybody does including myself um on each occasion when are you going to come and join us i have declined uh this kind of ideas and every time would be whether that was frank or was his doppelganger i have no clue he would gesture I don't know I don't know I don't know Bostian I don't know but we have a good time here we have a good time here so it might have been a serious provocation it might have been reality too I don't really care about it I'm just saying uh, the neighbor uh, Miss Maher here insisted that she doesn't like oh she does not like divorce and stuff like this that man go away from wife and then is with another woman that this is very very embarrassing uh please mr Borat power if you can help with this kind of issues uh i don't know i really don't know was it a scenario to they have a bunch of scenarios they wanted me to they used which suggests me right now clearly that they would want to place me in a situation i would go and do something like a drastic stuff that's what they would portray that as a solution that could cost me everything get me in the real troubles so i'm just saying i do not know if this guy is actually dead or he is alive i can say that there was another individual who really did pass but that was like a six months ago with a bicycle next to me when i went through this forest exactly i was promised would be the case under mk ultra I actually do believe that he did die because of the cancer uh, and in my videos I have actually blamed my neighbor uh, who play who loves to play so much with this direct energy weapons for his death now what exactly is the situation with him I have no clue maybe Borat Pahar got him uh, second idea or something like that it's so possible afterlife uh, would not appeal to me uh, let's put it this way let's say you are a billionaire let's say you owe several billion dollars and somebody comes to you and gesture you that he's gonna give you a new life a new ID uh, they're gonna fake your debt then they're gonna give you ID with different name and this is what you're gonna be for the rest of your life uh, I don't think that would appeal anybody I'm not a billionaire but I'm gonna sue the shit out of these people uh, really for every penny they talked about in Russia and it's not maybe this is the this is the fact in Russia now people are gonna die working literally this is how Putin did with the working age retirement issues maybe and I, again I shouldn't say maybe in Russia looks like there is a habit uh, to promise people a money a rewards uh, have them sign this is a Russian way that's why I don't like it I don't like it I don't want to know anything about this it always was like this this is nothing new this is the way it is you invent something they steal it from you you're nothing 
uh, they congratulate you and they give you a medal. This is the Russian way. This is how it is. Thank you, they give you. Um, a way for you to sign a contract uh, based on which the company is going to pay you, uh, I don't know, 100, 200 million dollars per year. Uh, this contract is going to be required for you to sign for a period for the amount of 20 years. Uh, after 20 years, when the payday comes, instead you get the bullet in your head. This is how this is done in the Russia. But again, I am not Russian and I don't quite agree with Vladimir Putin having 200 billion dollars on his account, having a billion dollar uh, residence over there down by the Black Sea. Uh, and uh, it really depends on the Russian people. Uh, if they like it this way, if the pensioners wants to starve is about 20 million pensioners in Russia that survive on less than 140 US dollars per month. 139 dollars per month, folks, not only pensioners, but people like in a low, low on the bottom, 20 million of them. Uh, it's a lot when you consider this total 145 million people in Russia. And you know, if Slovenians have and they did gave like a gift to the Serbia, to the great Serbia, to the Serboslavia, $40 billion as a reward for Serbian aggression on Slovenia, Serbian aggression on Croatia, Serbian aggression on Bosnia, Serbian aggression on Kosovo. Uh, then I also, then they also have the money to pay me. I don't give a F where they pull that money from they're gonna pay that money you're gonna give that money whether you like it or not you're gonna give one you talk about it you said 200 billion dollars we're gonna go for it and it's not gonna be the israel who's gonna pay that you're gonna pay this you're gonna pull this i'm gonna pull this out of your ass if i have to you're gonna pay for it respect to the woman like this i got to finish this wow it's already dark a little too dark here in the forest hopefully i'll make it through this village and it's gonna be time enough for me to record it's like this, folks. Uh, first, I didn't want this uh, Serbian, Russian, and so on. It did not appeal to me. These people look different. They have a different facial characteristics than what we do. Uh, they are not really genetically related to us as much as they are related to Ukrainian people and Polish people and so on and so forth. Uh, we do have a language that is similar to the Russian thanks to the linguists. And I like it. I gotta say that I like it. We have a copy of the Russian flag. We are the only country in the world. Slovenia is, has a Russian flag copy because of these people. These linguists, these politicians, they do this kind of stuff. Social engineers do that kind of stuff. But, you know, you can't go and uh, demand from somebody to have facial preferences. And this is exactly the idea that this uh, Zoran Muja was completely crazy obsessed, sick, Berger, uh, Pahor. They, these people were totally sick, obsessed with the idea on how they would actually manipulate brain of the human being, the perception in one on what his even sexual preferences would be in respect to the females. Once I wanted to have the Russian woman, they started to appeal to me then what they would do is, it would be like, no, you will not get. You will not get. Uh, so, uh, you know, they didn't, they didn't want this, they didn't want that. I'm 46, still not married, still doesn't have children. And what is exactly the definition of the genocide, if not this here? Uh, and, of course... Uh, through the forced unemployment. What exactly is that? What exactly is the definition? That's why I fear, greatly I fear for Ukrainian people because the Holodomor number two is coming. And to the Ukrainian people and to the Polish, bad times are coming to the Eastern Europe. That's why. Yeah, it's pretty much whatever I go through the forest that you got, you're gonna have what you see here. And basically, um, you know, a piece of cake to pull down line and just connect cameras to one. This is just a piece of cake when it comes to uh, serious stuff like stuff I'm talking about. 
Let's see this thing here. Yeah, this place changed. Uh, it totally became totally different uh, from the times when I left to the U.S. Yeah, it's not like a big brother is watching you. A big brother is watching you. Yeah, it is real. Yeah, it's just time to do like a little update, and this one is really important. We were at number seven before and i'm just about to come out here and go through this first settlement then through the second settlement really interesting settlements let me go ahead this time and just zoom myself a little bit to give a little to pay a little uh, to pay a little closer detail to what is coming next uh there is a forest here and i'm about to come out here like this out of the forest uh, what you have seen just now, this clip is going to repeat, but it's going to be a different scenario. Okay, so I'm going to put here number 8. This is when I'm going to stop, right here. And basically, this is where you're going to see like a little house here. Yeah, these are very, very close friends with Vesna Schwab. It's a lady, uh, extremely, extremely close friends with Vesna Schwab. Vesna Schwab is... Uh, have I mentioned this earlier or not? I do not know. Well, she was involved actually um, in quite early stages of MK Ultra, but then she disappeared. She kind of became invisible. There were other people who replaced, took the spot. And when she became involved in it, I threatened her with the problems under MK Ultra. I told her that I didn't only threaten her. I threaten other people, especially because it was most of them, it was Serbs, and I told her also, I'm going to get you out of here, this and that, and she said, no, you're not going to get me, because, you know, I am Slovenian, I am from here, just like you are, I am from the city of Novo Mesto, you can do nothing to me, she said, uh, so, most likely, this lady is from city of Novo Mesto, that's a very high possibility, she might be a native from here, it's very very questionable uh she would gesture definitely uh she would often accompany females whenever the females were present okay there were not only males who would come overseas from overseas americans and so on she would be uh if there were norwegians norwegians also would come um uh, americans and so on whoever would be in respect to the females she always would be a companion of this ladies she would go along with them and she would give them their own version picture of the place and so on and so forth okay so she was a frequent uh how you want to say not gonna say hiker let's say hiker not traveler uh through exactly through exactly um tracking uh, track path uh, i'm going right now toward otorchets this she is very familiarized with this area all these settlements you're gonna i'm gonna explain to you i already did partially in continuation okay she did map people here she did make some favors for them but she also screwed up a lot of people too so so this is where, where we're gonna come out this is where i come out and then i give you i explain to you what the situation is and then we go over these settlements here I am now traveling along the river, folks. That's a beautiful river right there. And coming to this settlement here, uh, this little settlement here, they were totally... This is under, I'm not going to say jurisdiction, because she is going into jail. Vesna Schwab is finished. It's finished. We need to find out. I need to see her husband to plug my memory and learn what he have done to me. But she handled this settlement here first house of very very close friends to with her uh, there's a lady over there these two are very good friends she comes and visit here and there and so on uh, by the way this here here they were hiding themselves inside jumping out like a monkeys 
and pretty much talking to themselves. That's how I see it, because I will believe you what you have to say once you come to me in a face, like in a real time, not when, you know, under MK Ultra and stuff like that. Don't do that. If you want to talk to me, uh, we have to sit at the table and discuss, but like this, mainly these people have talked to themselves. Uh, this place in the winter, all this green. This uh, just one more time. Uh, politicians were not allowed to go at night through here, back here. That was a specialty of local police officer, Method Yedman. He would go, he would survey everything, and they would make the rules. No way at night here to come back. But that makes sense. Those are politicians. They also try with a paranoia. Basically, the same kind of paranoia as I did. Um, this was not really paranoia. This really were safety precautions. I mean, you don't know what who can be hiding inside, even if you have cameras and so on. But and people around. But in respect to my case, absolutely, they were hyping for totally other reasons. Absolutely. See, there is none. All these leaves, all this stuff, it's all gone. And so you have all plain, naked earth ground here Mossad is gonna get you Mossad is gonna get you sniper 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 and from the other side here uh, there is a river in between perfect over there for the sniper will get you for sure Mossad will kill you it always was Israel 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 and Israel should also be guilty because Israel has a lot of money. That's why I make sure that you're gonna claim Israel, always Israel. Blame America, blame Israel. Uh, and as you know, on my trip uh, through Eastern Europe, all the way to the Belarus, <laughs> where Belarus, Lukashenko, that guy's complete lunatic would not even give me a freaking political asylum the right to stay and live there uh, you know guy's just a loony lunatic and he engaged into human experimentations brain implants through the minsk they did stuff like that shit like this on mk ultra heavy super heavy abuse against me and he would not even give me half in political asylum but would want me to blame america for it all in israel jewish americans and stuff like that even they got from them you see how this is all fixed like this uh, this basically is done exactly as i already have uh, explained earlier it's done through the social engineering so you see how this is done Especially now when the summertime is coming, there's going to be some people like this, they like to come back, refresh their memories. These people are so important for them because they got technology through to them. You see? Okay, what you're about to see is just before you get out of this forest, I go back again and I do it again. This horses, these animals were here already in 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, go ask farmer. Because I remember he didn't want Americans and others to fit them. It was simple as that. That's why he, put, he placed that log right there. I remember all this. I was here under MK Ultra. Okay, here for example, I will demonstrate to you uh, how people from here, how they block uh, certain paths so uh, others would not go other would not see this log here this tree here this log the huge log is what it is see so like this they place that right across the track because they don't want you to go and see whatever is out there and it's always basically the same thing that's the system they have used large you can see why that log was placed right there they just don't want tourists to come here and see this thing here see 
this is how that's done that's a perfect example I'm just giving I'm gonna repeat this stuff uh, was here already when in 2002 3 4 2001 if you want 5 and 6 how the hell would I know this stuff if uh, you know if I wasn't here and I was here they did brought me here uh, Vesna Schwab would stop here with emails and they would you know she would demonstrate in her uh, these beautiful animals horses uh, to the tourists and so on what is it that uh, what is it let me think about let me try to remind myself the farmer here did not want anybody to actually give anything to the animals was afraid they would poison animals and so on so that's why he did that so that's that folks uh, beautiful view by the way on the river from here and um, yeah I hate it but it's gotta go let's just go You see, folks, uh, Yugoslavia, USSR, they said that they were like 30 years behind the West. Bullshit. They were 100 years behind West. At least 100. Today, here, Slovenia, what we have, we are today about 30 years behind the West. We got a cars, we got all this stuff we have, standard, it looks like pretty nice, it looks like. The truth, however, is all this technology is from the West. The only thing our people do is they basically perform labor for the West. Maybe that factory right there, pharmaceutical, Kirka, but even that stuff, they got it from the U.S., even so. Uh, and so, uh, all this shit they got through to me, I was the one who was brought here from Miami million times, time and again, from 95, from 98 to 2006. And in the end, the only thing you get in return, the only thing you, you get, uh, they label you as mentally ill. And pretty much this is exactly why we were 100 years back and why today we are at least 30 years back behind the West. We are never ever going to catch anything like this because this system is all about crime. This is a criminal country. This is the Balkans. It's all about the criminality, corruption scam bullshitting people explaining people how they have to work hard how they have to believe in things uh, which do not exist and accept in return less than even nothing you have no idea how many people here could be good inventors and they invented many things here in the local Renault factory and stuff like this they never got any rewards anything it always was gratis thank you camarade thank you friend that's it that's all there was uh, individualism, honesty, ethics never ever were rewarded here. The only thing that was rewarded here was to be a part of the criminal society. You see, in the US they have elite, elites, but those elites know whom to reward, who is worth what. But here the elites are criminals like Borat Pahar, like Vucic and stuff like this, like a mafia, gangster, gangster type, gangster. So, but. Uh, there's one thing they know, they know not to buy the hand that feeds them. That's why they lick American hands, because Americans give them the technology and so on and so forth. So, that's why you have all this stuff here, uh, like this, nicely cleaned up, ordered. It still is the same as it was in 2005, 2006. There is a gentleman over there who could not believe that I know all the details about this place i will not say who these logs what you see here was here in 2005 2004 2006 but not this uh, they had older wood like this and when this gets dry why this is here this is here because when this gets dry uh, 
it's it's a really a beautiful picture like this you can take when when the wood is dry and the tourists do that stuff there's like a lot of flowers here that's also the stuff that brings tourists but this is already another uh <clears throat> subject uh by the way uh, you see that this house here hiding this very good friends with uh, this not shop they're gonna miss her they're gonna miss her maybe they're gonna give her they're going to give them opportunity to visit her in the jail, in the prison. Everything designed through the social engineering. Uh, by the way, for this natural was stole this property here, just like home from West and Schwab. I'm not kidding, folks. Uh, Definitely would be cameras positions, and I was actually told for some other specific uh, locations they would have them placed. So I don't know if it makes sense for me to demonstrate to you. Maybe I'm just gonna do it because I'm naughty. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna do it uh, to say hello to psychiatrists, maybe to remind them a little bit of the stuff we did. Uh, we're naturally going into the settlement. I'm not going to go into any of what you have seen in the settlement. Uh, but once we get out and before the second settlement, I'm going to demonstrate you where else I was told they have placed cameras. But pretty much they have placed them along this trail everywhere. Uh, these flowers are, I have found them right there, right in front of, uh, right behind the property, uh, along the property of this friend of Vesna Schwab. In fact, Vesna Schwab boasted on how she had her friends plant this uh, for tourists uh, that would actually believe even this are a native species here in Slovenia. They're not. Uh, so this was already present on the MK Ultra 2004, 5, 6 already. These are very beautiful and giant uh, flowers. They actually are taller than myself and I'm 6. Um, you're going to say, but Bushnan, how can you say this? Thanks. How can you say this was already here in 2003, 4 and 5 and so on? Uh, well, this is my warning to the people, to the locals, because I'm going to have more of this stuff. I'm going to state if you're going to say they're not, think about something else. There might be tourists in Britain, France, and so on that have taken photos of this. And they may actually say, well, you see. So, I do claim these flowers were here uh, on the MK Ultra. She boasted about these flowers. Regarding this place for which I suggest, this little house right there, it's like Vesna Schwab is second home. I would mention, but the owner of this house got into my face. She was very nasty on the MK Ultra. Very nasty. It's the same owner, the same lady. Uh, and have threatened me if I would only dare to open my mouth in respect to Vesna Schwab and so on and so forth. Uh, very abusive. Uh, individuals see basically an abuse against unknown person a friendship with somebody like this this is not appealing to me stuff like that well you can see everything is nice and trimmed around here uh, beautiful scenery and believe me it's not like this by coincidence actually I'm gonna actually even show you the flowers that might not even be native flowers from here flowers that Vesna Schwab he insisted have planted them right there for the tourists I should say have a neighbor somebody plant them there for the tourists like they are from there but if I remember this property from MK Ultra those flowers are not natives over there uh, I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna go over one more time and I will demonstrate you those flowers are those natives or not I do not know I'm just repeating basically Okay, uh, you see these windows here, this house, for instance. 
these windows are not like this by coincidence. These windows are still kept like this in our original state. I remember Americans and everybody, they were taking photos of these hearts. You see, it's a hearts, hearts are in the middle, like this. And it's everywhere like this. They did some restorations here of the older houses. Yeah, you see that? This one here, it's all left like this deliberately. They place them back. They look damaged and this and that. But what they do is they place them back when, when the summer comes. Yeah, during the summer, uh, they, they place this original windows back. So that when the people go, the tourists, when they go, they get to see this. You see, folks, I wouldn't know all this stuff if they would not even tell me about all this stuff. So, stuff I'm talking about, MK Ultra 2000. And keep in mind, I was absent from here since 94 to 2006. I should say August of 2006. And I know all these things. Now, I was told, do not film here. Do not. One of the locations right at the top uh, is what I was told. They had cameras placed. True or not, I do not know. I would not go around and uh, film around and, and this and talk, you know, so this is like a post Just this is with the added voice. I hit a few locations like this don't want to disturb people they get they talked a lot about Ongoingly they talked about this cameras Yeah, it looks to me that both power and all this politician it looks to me evident that they were much more disturbed than what i was that chair that you have seen in a barn right on the left side uh that thing was there already long time ago again seen on the mk ultra all time i see interesting chair right there i uh, hope you see it and that's just the barn that goes along the along the road but what goes along the road again is exactly what you see here i've just exited settlement now uh we continue fast to a torch its direction and i might i don't know i was suggested that you can actually even take a photo of that thing but that was a long time ago i hope it be i would be shocked now uh if Totally shocked if they have yet not replaced uh, that camera uh, basically with something more sophisticated, you know. That would be kind of shocking stuff to me personally. And what I was gonna say, uh, that even if I would take a photo of that thing, um, that would not prove anything. It wouldn't prove anything because uh, every village like this basically it's got a right to have their own uh surveillance system like this for the safety of the people around but you know uh also people could argue well you know this is just uh this is a local somebody or something and this and that but i can tell you already in 2003 in 2002 i'm talking about far back therefore uh these things were here so uh, i know something a little about this stuff that i'm talking it's basically like this everywhere okay the people that ask about that kind of stuff actually they were arabs arabs also came here saudi arabia uh, officials uh arab countries too they came uh, politicians from all over the world uh slovenia washed one billion dollar for the irani regime and it came up you know in 2017 big scandal about mr board power stuff they did uh just unprecedented stuff basically and so these people don't know about all these things you know and so vesna schwab loves to boast about all that stuff now we're coming to another region handled by uh others uh, in this region, the one who had uh, hands uh, deep inside was Zoran Muja alone. 
and they had other people too. He was the one, I understand, had a fear here with the women. Very likely have even impregnated. These politicians did impregnate some women. And Zoran Muja, Serbian psychiatrist in Ljubljana, who actually dared to even suggest me that they would be they would be helping me out actually that they are slovenian people they were after me but the serbs who actually tried to help me out uh that's just totally effing insane crazy but well what you see right here on the left side is basically his last name is lazanski like this And what you see here, that's a maniac that was involved against me, director of psychiatric hospital, both were involved against me, director of psychiatric hospital, Boyan Zalar. And as this idiot, this Boyan Zalar, this imbecile, this traitor brought me to the Serbia, with a muja they would go they would bring me to the serbia the serbs would go they would find they would look for the people that would facially match literally and russians of course according to the russians because they learned this thing from the russians the russians were first they would do that they would like try to match people who would come from the u.s especially from the u.s they would try to find them like a russian doppelganger at least something that would remind it of that would remind of them and then Putin would be the one who would be pulling the strengths along with Medvedev, with Lavrov. Uh, they, he would give instructions, detailed instructions to others. Okay, And so this Lozansky, journalist, whatever he is, this was an individual. Everything is surfacing now out about really what went on in respect to the Serbia. Because now, just like the same case was with Borut Pahor, Right? Borat Paho was working underground. He was already appointed as a future president of Slovenia and had to be present in every deal, major deal, any kind of negotiations everywhere. So he was as much as possible familiarized. That's how they do with the politicians. Before they start a tenure, before they start a career officially, they have them participate in a background. Usually, these people would know even more than those that are on a power at the time there are presidents presidents would give the people like this in a background authority to basically act on behalf of the state so once these people assume job they it's all synchronized with other leaders worldwide they, they totally know what's going on really in the background what you see on a surface in a political scene is what they want you to see what's really happening is happening in the background it's far from the people's eyes i just want to say about this imbecile this psychiatrist director of ljubljana psychiatric hospital boyan zalar this imbecile actually insisted don't you ever say anything about serbia serbs and stuff like this i look like a serbs i am in serbia this is like my homeland my place and so on and so forth you get it this is a chetnik this individual is a Chetnik. So when I stated about the Boyan Zalar, about who this individual is, I wasn't kidding about, not even a little bit. And right there you have an individual that was under MK Ultra presented to me like we are all the same. Serbia, Slovenia, it's all the same. The same thing. So I know right now under Alexander Vucic, he became a president. Like I said, he was the same like Borut Pahor in the background. He became a president. All the shit from the past under MK Ultra, everything is surfacing out, including the chief of the police from Belgrade, the new chief of the, of the Serbian police uh, who became. For him, Vucic told me that once he become a chief of the police, the abductions are going to become a real, real chance, a real scenario. It's going to happen because the guy is going to be kind of become in charge for my case. They're going to be watching my new site and 
everything I'm going to say in respect to it, they're going to collect information, they're going to build like a legal case and stuff against me and stuff like that. So I remember pretty damn well this kind of stuff. Very well I remember this stuff. Zoran Mudra. Uh, Zoran Mudra, evo ja sam psihijatar i ja mogu da vam pomognem. Evo, ja sam zainteresiran za vaše probleme u vašoj kući. Kako vaš muž, kako vaš ljubavnik, ko je on, on vam stvara probleme. Uh, I am a psychiatrist, Zoran Mudra. Uh, I can help you inside of your home. Uh, how uh, your husband treats you. Uh, how is your lover, whatever. Uh, you have relationship, you don't have relationship. Um, is he making you a problems? I can, if he doesn't make you a problems, I can make you even more happy. Uh, I can teach you uh, how to teach him to treat you properly and so on. So he's going to see from perspective that you would like to have your life going. Eh? I remember about Zoran Muja, everything. It was like a Casanova over there in Schumpeter was effing around with the women. Uh, eventually there is a look. You, you line me up people from Schumpeter. Believe me. Uh, you have absolutely no proof whatsoever, anything that I met, personally that I met, uh, that these people would, could say, oh, we know this guy, whatever we met before or something like this. Got no proofs about this. You can line me up people. I can go and I can just go tuck, 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 tuck. I can tell you who the people are, where the people are coming from because of this MK Ultra, because... It was Serbian woman that involved lived now in this area, Schumpeter area. Uh, Roma Roma female married with Slovenian guy, Slovenian guy married with a Serbian girl, and so on. I know people not because I would know them is what I'm trying to say. I know people from MK Ultra. I know the residents. I know the residents as you walk back uh, to the city. I can tell you the stories about them. How the hell would I know about about these people, who they are, where they work, and stuff like this, where they have worked? If if I if it wasn't for MK Ultra, how the hell would I know these things? We never met. Supposed to don't know about one another. Uh, I was already, but I, I believe I still owe a few extra uh, in respect to this individual who was totally familiarized with my case, knew all about my case, was present, and so on and so forth. I just want to say this thing. I see him, uh, I saw him, and I see him as a Poroshenko number two. This individual actually is a ticket, a regular card in the hands of the Kremlin, Belgrade. That's all there is to it. Uh, let me articulate this for this. Uh, if this individual would be really uh, for our people here in Slovenia, if he would care a little bit, number one thing, he would not get into corruption scandals. Now, this individual got into numerous corruption scandals from uh, weapon sales uh, during the war, uh, independence war, then he got into uh, the Patria, that was through the Finnish, uh, with the Finnish company, corruption. And he got into numerous other corruptions. It was always corruption and criminality he was involved in. Always. So what he did was he gave a very bad image uh, from the perspective of honesty, ethics uh, to our people, Slovenian people. That's number one. Number two, when you're a politician, uh, on a such a high position when so many people give you vote, dedicate you vote, if that's true at all, we don't know really what's going on because they, they manipulate public opinions, they manipulate uh, when it comes to the voting systems, I do not agree, I do not admit that voting system in Slovenia actually is the real uh, reflection of uh, Slovenian voters on how they see things as what their beliefs are. I'm going to put it this way. Trust, when it comes to the trust, when you have a, such a high position, uh, you definitely, definitely 
don't want to go out there and uh, you know he acted like he gave like a little literally uh, derogatory remarks uh, toward people from other republics like against the Serbs like against uh, I don't know Bosnian people and so on and so forth really really derogatory uh, remarks really uh, fascist Nazi remarks uh, and it's something that uh, also goes along. It goes very, very well along with his not doing the job, the stuff that he should do. So he does the stuff that he's not supposed to do. Uh, it's what nobody wants to have a politician like this. So he does the stuff he's not supposed to do. And then what he does, he doesn't do the stuff he's supposed to do. Like I said, he was involved in MK Ultra, and, and not only that he was involved in MK Ultra, I asked him continuously, I asked him for help. I asked his political party for help in 2015, 16, and before that, I sent him a letters. I wrote him this and that. He is doing exactly what Moscow, Kremlin, and Belgrade would want me to, to him to do, in other words. He is Poroshenko number two. He is a ticket, a card, uh, in hands of Moscow and Belgrade. Okay? You just don't do this kind of conduct. You don't do this kind of stuff. You don't do the stuff that uh, harms people uh, on every step of the way. So, I'm just saying this. There's going to be some people that... He might have lied to how he would do something, this and that. This guy's not going to do anything. And if he would ring right now here and would have tape and would have, I don't know what he would have, I would not even open him a door. I would not even open him doors. I would not take a photo next to this guy. I'm never ever going to talk to this guy. It doesn't matter what and this and hell and this and that. To make myself clear. So if you do care about this country, if you do care about the people, and you're going to do it the honest way, because for me personally, the only way, the only way forward really is honesty. It's a fairness, uh, strong ethics, hard work. Uh, and uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff, I don't want to have anything to do with. This is the way to do it. This is how to push... Uh, yourself forward this is how you promote yourself forward you don't promote yourself forward uh with the lies with uh, get twingled twisted in some kind of cluster of uh you know all kinds of stuff that is used later on in to damage you like in a million ways i wouldn't even stand next to this guy i wouldn't even handshake with this guy if i would be in the politics today if i would be in the parliament and they would say, we're going to have a session and this and that. I wouldn't have no session with this guy. I'll tell you this much. Uh, it's nothing to discuss with the people like this because he's got no business to be inside of the parliament. People like this don't actually have any business to be inside of the parliament. When you step next to the person like this, then your image is deteriorated. His image gets, is, even if he gets a little credibility, it's just too damn bad because people like this shouldn't get any kind of credibility, if you understand me. Yeah, uh, let me give a little more update. Uh, again, we are heading in this direction here towards uh, Otochets, recreational area, castle. That's basically where I'm taking you. That's here a little f uh, further. Now I can't squeeze that because it's a little bit too small because I did go and I did zoom myself into this. Uh, but right now uh, I'm going to give you a little bit, a little update. We went through the forest. We came to this settlement here. It's known as Jihovo Selo. You have seen. And we came out right now. This is on the field. And we are about to enter this place here. It's called Dolenia Vas. And uh, I'm going to put right here. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it number nine like this. And I'm going to place this number nine. Here in this place here there is a parcel here according to mk ultra scenario which was bought by the belgian guy i think belgian brussels guy uh individual here which who is by the way probably i would say is a slovenian guy i estimate this but was quite how can i say uh interesting person 
Um, under MK Ultra, individual was quite uh, naive, quite naive. Uh, there's a very thin line between the truth and between the lies. And these people just didn't give really opportunity to the truth.